Hello there. Welcome to Hello. another MSI <laughs> Notebook stream. Another notebook we talk about today. Oh, we didn't do the tagline. We have to say best meets, meets best. best. Reach new heights. Reach Yay. new heights, yes. Triple threat. MSI, Intel, NVIDIA GTX. Best meets best. That's that's what that catchphrase is all about. So, yeah. how y'all doing? Today, we are talking about the GT62. Uh, wait, wait, what's the full model? GT62 VR7RE. It's the full model number. So on the previous streams, we looked at a couple of different laptops so far. We've looked at a little light one with the GTX uh, 1060 in it. We've looked at uh, a nice big workhorse with a great big screen on it with a GTX 1050 Ti in it. Sort of a nice all around machine. This week, however, what we have is the laptop for the serious gamers because inside this little beastie right here, is a full-on NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070 mm. and it just monsters games. Exactly. Um, and just like the previous laptops, the screen, if we can cover up Ivy's face, oh, we haven't introduced ourselves. I'm Blunty, that's Ivy. I'm a YouTuber, Hi. she's an MSI person. <laughs> <laughs> the screen, by the way, um, comes in 1080 uh, screen. Also, you can get it in a 4K configuration as well, just like the previous laptops we talked about. But if you are going for it for a gaming machine, again, go for the 1080 screen because it is just perfect. And you'll be able to monster your, your AAA gaming titles and stuff uh, with that GTX 1070 in there. Zero issues at all at 1080. Something binged. Was that that thing that binged? Something binged. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, as I'll be sort of showing you there, this is the, the no compromises sort of laptop. Um, it's not you know, designed to be super duper light and thin and ultra portable. This is the no compromises gaming machine, as you can see. Mm. Fairly chunky, which means great big vents out the back, which means, amongst other things, that uh, the cooling in this is very, very efficient. Now, I'll bring up a graphic here for the cooling. The Cooler Boost 4, and the enhanced cooler design for power gaming. Now, between the new cooler and the great big vents at the back, that means the fans can keep spinning very uh, uh, slow speeds, which means they can spin quietly. And what I've got here is a little system monitor thing here, so you can see the CPU whacking out uh, at maximum sort of, uh, uh, well, not quite, 99%. I don't know why it didn't go to 100%. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see the, the GPU and CPU both sort of sitting there hovering around uh, sort of well under 70 degrees, sort of oh, picking out a 69 degrees with a GPU it's there really and about 68. Yeah. But that is under benchmark loads, by the way, so it's supposed to be maxing out everything. Yeah. But the point is, it's doing these temperatures at a, uh, at a kind of noise level, which you just won't hear, regardless of whether or not you're wearing headphones. It's a sort of low level hiss from the fans, uh, not a screech, not anything extreme. It is absolutely designed to keep its cool and do so very very quietly which is one of my favorite things about it quite honestly um the other thing that i wanted to talk about and just feel free to butt in if you can get an edge in else edgewise if you I'm just i realized okay, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just talking straight over the top of it i'm not even Don't giving her a chance to, to no 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 no. i'm yeah. totally fine i, I will catch up later as soon as the webcam comes on i'm, I'm a chatterbox web camera is off um, anyway, so let me bring up the uh, the cool keyboard. It's still Series keyboard, of course. Um, you get the full RGB uh, regions there, so you've got three different regions. But what I'm showing you right here is the Still Series Game Sense functionality, which means in several different games, uh, like I'm showing a bit of Minecraft here, you can actually set up the keyboard to show you in-game information. So in Minecraft here, I've got uh, your tool durability in the green section there that'll eventually just go to red as your tool wears out. Really nice uh, way to keep a good visual eye on that because if you have played Minecraft, you know the last thing you want to happen is for you pick to run out in an inopportune time. Um, I've got the left side there set up for health. Um, and in the middle there, I've got it set up for hunger. So you've got sort of this lit up area in your peripheral vision. So you don't have to keep an eye in, on your toolbar necessarily or your, you know, the rest of your in-game head up display kind of stuff it's you know it's not essential but it's really really cool to have um, as you can see there on the sidebar we've also got some uh, Dota uh, action happening in the presets and also some CSGO you can add to that as well and oh here's the, uh, the, the web page where you go to get the uh, simple mod for Minecraft to make that uh, functionality work Very properly cool in the game it is so cool um, and I've seen that sort of functionality before on Steel Series sort of separate full-size keyboards and stuff, but it's really cool to see that in a gaming laptop right there. Of course, full RGB. Um, 
And these RGB keys look a little bit better than most RGB keys you will find because they've got, um, underneath these keys, they've got the, the, a silver lining kind of thing, I think is, is what they call it. It's also called their silver lining key. So it bounces the light around sort of in behind the key um, even more effectively. So they nice and bright and clear and quite vivid as well. I really like them. Good to type on too. I do love the Steel Series keyboards and have done for some time now. And even Steel Series mouse. Mm -hmm. MSI love Steel Series too. Um, yeah. I'm what else haven't I mentioned here about the thing? Oh, the the the, the drives in there. Yeah. So, I think in the, uh, uh, unlike the previous laptops, we got two different drives in here. You've got a 2.5 inch uh, laptop drive um, for your free big mass storage, but you've also got in there. Uh, you, you can pop that on the desk. I think it's getting heavy. No, it's okay. <laughs> Just show you around. Okay. Uh, yeah, the 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 M.2. Uh, NVMe P PCIe, PCIe yes. as, um, SATA drive. I think that's all the acronyms that go with that drive. <laughs> really, really quick drive. So if you are working with media and you know maybe fiddling with your game recordings and stuff, exactly. um, it is just the laptop you want if you're a gamer, um, if you're a streamer as well. Because with the of course the seventh series, uh, seventh generation Intel i7 in there. That means you've got plenty of overhead for multitasking, so you can run your game and you can stream at the same time without sort of bogging down your CPU. Um, that's something I've experimented with recently when the uh, seventh gen CPUs came out. I was testing against uh, an i5, and I found the seventh, uh, the i7s really do make a huge difference when it comes to that multitasking, in particular encoding video for streams yeah. and playing a game at the same time. If you are planning to do that, by the way, that is the uh, sort of area I would recommend getting the 4K version of the screen because that means you can run your game in a 1080p window, yes. have your Twitch chat room down the side, have OBS or XSplit. I think these even come with XSplit pre-installed, actually. Yeah, do that. Um, so you're, you're streaming software. You can have that down the, down the bottom there and any other sort of little notepads and things you need to keep track of whatever you're doing on the stream, however complex you're going. Um, and the 4K screen just makes that beautiful to work with instead of having to try and jam it all into a 1080p screen or hook up an external monitor and stuff so if you are you know traveling to shows like uh, uh, RTX Expo we've got uh, coming up this weekend next weekend very very soon yeah. anyway PAX Australia all that kind of stuff if you you know want to go streaming uh, in, in a mobile form factor this that, one's the best choice um, absolutely it's it's beautiful you've got tons let me have a look at the IOs on this I haven't written these down so I've got USB uh, C type on the back there, HDMI out, mini display port, you've got your um, Ethernet port of course, on the side here we've got uh, three USB 3.0s, uh, SD, oh I forgot about the SD card slot, so so handy, especially again, if you're like me, you're going to events and stuff, maybe you're shooting some videos uh, while you're at RTX Expo this weekend, as indeed I will be doing, if you want to do sort of on the ground editing, you can whack your camera's SSD straight in there, exactly. I never want to own a laptop without an SSD camera really <laughs> built into it, because for years I dealt with there's little USB plug-in ones yeah. because you're plugging them in and out all the, all the time. They, they, I went through so many, so many of them. Old-fashioned. Um, and on the other side here, I've got another USB port. I think that's the 2.0 port right there. And this is interesting too, if you get a good look at that. It's can, a golden. Can, can we get that? 20, uh, yeah. 18 gold, if I'm right. Yeah, 18 gold. get the gold. camera focused on those. Um, yeah, gold-plated gold um, audio in-outs, but there's four of them instead of two. So what you've got here is you've got your regular headphone and microphone ports, but you've also got dedicated line in and line out ports again. Wow. Super handy if you're a streamer and you want to bring in external audio sources really, really easy because if you ever tried to plug in a, a line in source into a head, in a microphone jack, not ideal, let me tell you. Dedicated line in jack, so you can use those as well as your microphone at the same time. I can't even tell you how easy that makes your life if you are working with media or indeed you're streaming. So, um, I do have some gameplay here as well yeah. we can pop on while we're talking. This is Mafia. Mafia 3. Cool. Which is quite a lot of fun. A very pretty game too. Um, it's a bit like if, if GTA 5 had its serious face on okay. it. Basically. A big open world game. And I'm, I'm in the middle of a police chase here. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I'm booking it through the streets. Um, oh desperately trying to escape. Oh, you see, I'm bugging all this, this, just, just. How come the guy just like showing off like that? Um, I, 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 hit, I hit a car as I was going past a cop, and he spotted me. He went, "That's illegal. I'm going to chase you down and try and kill you." So, <laughs> I'm wrecking my car here. 
it is a quite dramatic moment in a second where the police car tries to cut me off. <laughs> um, but anyway, this is this is completely maxed out. 1080p, Yay. absolutely maxed out. Like every single graphic setting I could turn up, I turned up. And as you can see, we the frame rate has some fabulous. Yeah, you see, we're, I mean, we're, the lowest we're getting is sort of the, the mid 50s. But in general, it's sort of hovering around. Oh, look, there oh we go. My God. There we go. <laughs> absolutely flipped. He keeps going as well. Yeah, that's a dedicated police officer right there. <laughs> Flipped him sideways and he still keeps coming after me. <laughs> but yeah, everything maxed out in Mafia 3, which I'm going to be honest with you, is not a particularly super duper well optimized game and it can be difficult to run. Yeah. But with the i7 and the GTX 1070, zero issues, mate. Oh, look at that, that was hopeless. Straight into the telephone pole. <laughs> oh my god, so no, many cops! No, don't panic, I'm not in trouble yet. I'm yeah. going to be on the freeway because that's obviously a brilliant idea to get away from the cops. I haven't learned from the, the gameplay footage I showed a couple of weeks ago of the uh -huh, same uh -huh. game on a different yeah. laptop. Trying to escape from police um, while, while on a freeway with no exits, <laughs> which is uh -oh. absolutely ridiculous and, <laughs> and, and not very fruitful at all. But I do actually get away from the cops. You can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six cops following me at the moment. Uh, there's another two around the corner there. Oh my god! Just oh go straight past god. that guy. <laughs> you just pass by. Just um, super cool. Keep it, keep it smooth. Um, that killed that person. Really wiped out those pedestrians. But the cops are. Are still following me. There's a big blob. You can see a little map down in the bottom right hand mm -hmm. corner. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eight, I see you. 18 cops uh, a block away from me. Amazing. But, but somehow, yeah. check, check out my, my <laughs> miraculous escape right here. I want to see your cars crash. I've, I've officially escaped. So I pulled out, I'm ready for a shootout, and oh. the cops just keep going. They yeah. decided they didn't see me. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Yeah, that was that was some smooth, uh, smooth operation from the. Uh, from the game's artificial intelligent cops there, so I'm uh, <laughs> reflecting over my, oh my completely God, totally messed crap. up car. Yeah. No, re no rear tires on it at all. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Look, look how upset his face is. He's grouchy, <laughs> just posing dramatically there in the sunlight. <laughs> so funny. So uh, my car. Okay. But yeah, I'm proof positive that even I mean, like I said, Mafia Three, fantastic game. The only bad thing I have to say about it is it's not particularly well optimized. It is difficult to run, but again, i7, uh, 1070, mm. on a laptop, 1080p, everything maxed out, 60 frames a second, Bravo. Uh, sweat. And again, because you've got the i7, you've got the multi-threading, so you've got the overhead, if you wanted to, stream that game. Yes. <sighs> nice. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? Uh, Which is a nice segue to go into a giveaway, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, we didn't tease that at the beginning. We, should, we <laughs> usually try and tease that. We're all over the shop today. We're the traffic jams, and we're a bit late getting started, and our heads all over the place. But giveaways. What yeah. have we? We've got mouse pads. Yes, we have a mouse pad to give mouse away pad. to have a ten like lucky winners. I don't know whether it's is it exactly this one or something. Yes. Okay, no one. Yay! So with the dragon. Lovely, lovely, smooth rubber backed uh, MSI dragon mouse pads. It's a really nice mouse pad actually. I'm using yeah. it right now, as you can see. So <laughs> just leave a comment below the post, live streaming yeah. the post. On the, uh, on the, on the Facebook you. post. Uh, yes. I will be sort of cross-posting this to my YouTube channel as well after the fact. But Yes. Um, you could leave a comment on that video. But and this to, one as well. And, and here on the on the Facebook as well. Yes. I think Ivy's probably going to prioritize the Facebook stuff because that's what she's more familiar with because I'm the YouTube guy, which is why I'm here in the first place. That's right. Video, but, oh. So yeah, if you are watching on YouTube, head over to the Facebook thing. There'll be a link down below um, and follow uh, MSI on the Facebook if you want to keep uh, tabs on what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Speaking of what they're doing, this weekend, if you're in last Sydney, week, last week. if you are in Sydney, this is the last weekend you'll be able to go to Market City yeah. for the uh, MSI experience thing where you can go and, and play with some of these laptops. They've got six or seven of these laptops set up with games yeah. uh, set up on them. And also uh, a VR experience as we oh, as saw in yes. last week's live stream. Where, where, totally uh, where fabulous. From the, from the mobile phone, we had a few sound issues because apparently when you Live stream oh. from a phone with Facebook. It's it, when you switch tricky. to the when you switch to the rear okay. camera, it doesn't switch to the mics. Also, so some of the stuff I was yeah. saying couldn't hear. Anyway, I got in the VR. You can try the VR. <laughs> yeah, um, by the way, you still doing the skiing one, or have you? Yeah, yeah. They, they, they also. Um, by the way, uh, the end of the January, they will pick up the. They will give away for HTC Vive. Right. The, the, yeah. So and uh, also the MSI GT seventy three VR. So yeah, another incentive to pop down there if you are free on the week. It's Friday, Sunday, Sunday. Uh, starting from Thursday, Thursday. till Sunday. Thursday, so Sunday, Sunday. Don't miss this chance, okay? okay. 
So yeah, head along and they've got a little iPad with the forms and stuff on it. You can win HTC Vive and a GT70. GT70. Three. Three, jeez. It's two. two cause, uh, yours is it. Uh, uh, it's so worth I, a shot. Yeah. Um, if you are not in Sydney, um, come first weekend of February. Yes. In Melbourne. Uh, do we know where in Melbourne yet? In the test. Uh, one of our sh- uh, dealer shops. Yeah. All right. Um, if you don't know where that is, again, I'm sure there'll be Check a Facebook, Facebook post. Facebook. There'll be, there'll be yes. all the details you ever need to know about it. So, let me just recap. I think we've talked about everything we need to talk about. We did uh, the giveaway. We talked about the laptop. We showed the gameplay. We showed the cooler. We showed the keyboard cool stuff, um, which is just kind of rad. We talked about the 4K screen. We talked about the uh, uh, M.2 NVMe PCIe PCI, SSD yeah, uh, exactly. thingy, uh, SATA thing. Yeah. That is the MSI GT 62. Um, 7RE. Wait, I'm thinking, wait, did I miss something? Yes. Did you, did, 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 did tell me. Uh, yeah, no. GT sixty two VR. Yeah. GT sixty two VR seven R E. Okay. Which is, um, you know, if you're after a, a gaming laptop, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how many other. Go to the mic now. I don't know how many better alternatives are out there. I mean, MSI do have, and we'll probably talk about this in, in next week's or a week after or whatever it is. But you know, they do have bigger, beefier ones, full on desktop replacement monsters. Yeah. But if you want a laptop, a notebook, something actually portable that you can use on your desk and take with you, this one. That's the choice to make. <sighs> so thanks uh, for joining us once again. We'll be back again same time next week. Yeah, same time next same week. Same time next week. So Wednesday, round we'll noonish, like, as long as there's no traffic. Yeah, we will show down the, the uh, Facebook, so yeah, everybody be, yeah, will watch be, it. There'll be links on the Facebook to tease you, and, and I'll be twittering about it as well. My, my Twitter is at Blunt and, um, and you know, the, the whole social media thing. Stay if, tuned. If, if, stay basically, tuned. if you miss it, it's your fault, not ours. Mm. <laughs> 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 can, I, can I blame the viewers? I can blame the viewers. I'm okay. Oh, yeah. So, thank you for watching the MSI Best Meets Best, 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 meet best, best Reach New, new Heights channel. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Bye. Catch you guys.